after they came out of samadhi. So that means during initiation, eh? I sit there and, <laughs> and meditate and then become ahat. After they came out of samadhi, they told the wonderful priestess like this, Reverend Mother, yeah. All of us has been bound and taught by this sensual pleasure desires up to now. We could never shake it off. We could not escape from it until now. Today, relying on your blessing and grace, we have been liberated from them. We, we have no way to thank you. Yeah, we are so grateful, so grateful. After the Buddha knew that, the Buddha was very happy. <laughs> and he, no, the Buddha right now, of course he knew anyway. So he praised the wonderful nun like this. Excellent, precious, precious. The nun, a wonderful, could preach in such a way as to benefit herself and then benefit others. Yeah, you are truly the disciples of the three times Buddha, meaning the past Buddhas, the present Buddha, and the future Buddha. That's a high praise, very high praise, yeah. And then all these 500 nuns, new nuns, as well as all the assembly, uh, bow and went home. Uh, not went home, but just, you know, retreat. Probably they will stay with the nun and everybody else went home. Mm. Okay. All right then, the story finished. We thank the Buddha, huh? Mm. We should really thank the past masters, monks and nuns and scholars who had take time to record the Buddha's teaching after the Master's Nirvana, and also for the past and present persons, lay or monks or nuns who have really dedicated themselves, sacrificed their time and precious health or under any difficult situation to translate this so that I can read it to you. And we have to thank them. And may they be blessed forever by all the Buddhas past, present, and future. May their merit be immense. May they be liberated forever. Thank you. Ah, wow, what a story, huh? You guys okay? Shaking with fear or not? Yes, yes huh? In the heart, huh? Feel shaky, huh? Yeah, who wouldn't, huh? Yeah. Even Many, many eons passed, many lifetimes passed already. Just one time, kill one baby, became a heart already, all repentance, remorse, suffered so much already, still had to bear that consequence. Nothing we can escape free. Therefore, really, karma really exists. Yes. Even become a heart. Yeah. Some karma will be destroyed but some will remain, so that you can continue to live on. For example, we make many bad things, we did many sins in many, 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 many uncountable lifetimes. In this lifetime, come back, be reborn as human, suffer some, but some are still in store waiting. Okay? Because in one lifetime, you cannot suffer much more than like the nun had done, you see? That there is a time span for everything. So in one lifetime is short, so you will be allotted how much, how much karma for one lifetime. Then suppose you come back again, then there is a next <laughs> stored karma will come for you. Without karma, you cannot exist here. You're probably in heaven, okay? Or in hell, somewhere else, a different karma then. Huh? Therefore, the nun, luckily she came and took refuge in the Buddha, and she became Ahat. And at the time that the Buddha accepted her and initiated her, he will destroy all the store karma. Understand? 
so that she will not be born again to suffer any. Yeah. But even then, the, the fixed karma for this lifetime, she has to bear, even after become a heart already, because that's her fixed karma. Without this karma, she cannot live here. Uh, all of us, same. Okay? Yeah. Except the Master, who has to borrow karma from everybody. <laughs> not borrow, but have to bear everybody else's bad karma. Therefore, the Master will not suffer any karma. Because all done, you know? The Buddha already had no more karma. Yeah. But he still had to suffer here and there because of bad karma of disciple. Yeah. All right. Okay then, huh? Good. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what kind of karma that I have. My knees are painful. <laughs> yeah. It's old age karma. <laughs> okay. Get up, go walking. <laughs> All right, huh? Any question concerning story, karma, merit, good deed, bad deed? Hmm? No? no. Mm. We are going to cover the, the balcony. Yeah, I told them to cover. So at night you're warmer. Is it very cold at night? If you have no question, I have question. You cold? No. At night? Not yet? Well, thank God the weather is still good, huh? Well, you feel pain or anything because of coldness? Nothing? Yes? No? no. Okay. It's good. It's good. It's good. But I think it's going to be colder soon, yes. And at night it might change temperature quickly, or rain or something. So we're going to cover the, the, the balcony quickly, yeah? So the wind don't blow into where you sit. And in daytime, uh, you take turn to, to, to roll it back, roll it in one side, you know? The, the balcony is like this, yeah? We cover it all, if we can do it tonight, if not tomorrow. And in the morning you... Just bind it easy to take, not not uh, difficult. You bind it uh, easy, not just like this, you know? Yeah. So when you want to take it, just like that, okay? Okay. And then uh, in the morning, you take turn whoever, like when people eat breakfast, yeah, nobody there, and you can just uh, roll it and put it on one side. In the middle, roll it just in some column, you know, put here, here, here and bite it on the balcony so it don't blow away. And then in the night, you tie it up again, okay? Yes. In case it rains or in case it's cold, it turns cold. Huh? All right? Yeah. Number one, there is something. The water here is precious. <laughs> water everywhere is precious. We are lucky to live in a country that the government takes good care of water. So we also have to save it, okay? We use it. Uh, use it uh, sparingly, okay? When you go toilet and anything, use sparingly. If you wash your hand and wash in the bucket, and then and then so that when it uh, enough, you can put in toilet. If it's a small a small business, then you put little water, and then later, if it's big business, then you throw a big bucket inside, okay? So don't keep flushing, yeah? Because the water even uh, is not about money or anything. It's more about environment. Okay? And convenience for everybody. If we use a lot of water, then it becomes more expensive for poorer people. The same with electricity. The more we use, the more expensive. Yeah. Other poor people, or maybe don't have enough for poor people. So we just save everything at home also, not just here. Yeah? So that everybody has a good share of water, electricity, and necessities. If you don't use any light anywhere, then you turn it off for me. Standby light, when not necessary, turn it off at home also. I do the same. I do the same. Something like a telephone, yeah? Like a telephone, for example. And you plug it in, after a while it's fully charged. Then you turn off the standby light. Television also, because like a television, it has standby light. So if you have a standby light, you turn it off, so the standby light don't light up the whole night. But there's something you don't need to turn off, like the refrigerator and the thing without the standby light, then you don't have to put it in standby socket to turn off, plug it in normal socket, so that the, the standby light don't light up the whole night, the whole day, and it will cost electricity. 
because if you turn off the whole standby in the house, you save at least 10% of the bill. Okay? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And also, uh, the water there is filter water in near the kitchen. There's a big machine there. You use it, okay? You ask where it is to use, okay? You don't just drink uh, straight from the tap. Uh, even though the water in here is very good. But just to be sure, okay? Drink filter water or drink the cooked tea. Filter water and cooked tea, okay? If you want to drink water, just, just cook the water. There are some kettle there for you to boil the water to cook, okay? And you just boil enough for use only, okay? And other people will also boil the same. Otherwise, they come, they don't know that you boil water already. The thing is not boiled, so they boil again. The next person boil again and again. We have to use the pump, different pumps to pump water from the city here. So we have to pump the water here. And a lot, a lot, a lot of people use every day, all the time. So the pump go kaput so quickly. Like these two, three days, we have to keep repairing it. Oh, and now buy a new one. But even then, a new one, we also need to take care so we don't have to waste a lot of water. Because the more we, we use water, the more the pump has to work. The more the pump has to work, the more we have to repair or renew the pump. Even we put in a new pump, have to take care. We can do it. We can buy the pumps forever. But the more we save, the better the pump will work longer. The pump will work longer your brother and sister who take care of the water and electricity doesn't have to work harder. They came here to meditate. So the less they work, the more they can meditate. Do you understand the consequence of everything, the karma, yeah? In this lifetime, yes? Okay? So have mercy on your brothers who take care of water. Use sparingly. Save as much water as you can. I'm not restricting you. I'm just talking logic, okay? All right? Yeah, they are very good, efficient, they're willing to work. But we must save it so they don't have to work too hard, so they have more time to meditate and enjoy their retreat like everybody else. Do you understand now? Yes. yes. It's not just about money. <laughs> time is about everything, okay? Yeah, we must know that. And at home also consider that, okay? Because also, the more we use water, the more the government has to work on water. Because the water don't come straight to us from the river or lake. They have to treat the water with uh, some chemical, okay? Have to have people to take care of water, protect the water, test the water every day for us, and use machine and all that to pump water in all directions. So if we use less, then they have to take care less, and they use uh, less chemical, less treatment. So everything connected with each other, hmm? even if we can afford it. I, I can afford it. It's just we must be careful about how we use everything on this planet. Yeah? Because it's a common property, even though you pay for it. But water belongs to common property, belongs to everybody on this planet. Actually, it's like that. Just unfortunately, our world has not organized enough so that everybody has a good share of water. And because of water, many wars broke out, you know? Yeah, they, they sometimes they war into each other because they want to get the position where the water is. Yeah? And because of not enough water, people have to go far away or have to fight for water as well. It's very important to have water, that's why. You see, I hope in the future, and many governments leaders will sit together and plan the way how to distribute more water for different areas. You know, many people, many children have to drink unclean water or poison water because they have no choice. So here we have fortune to drink good water. Yes, we should be, you know, treasuring it and, you know, taking care of it as much as we can. Okay? That's all. Okay? Right. Water, electricity is a fortune for us that we have. Many countries, many areas don't have electricity, don't have water. Remember that, okay? And even many refugees come, they're short of water, short of many things. We are very fortunate. So we try to treasure and take care, okay, huh? Everybody understand? Yeah, very good. 
and you wash your hand in the sink, even you have the sink, but you put a bucket, small bucket, and so your water will come into the bucket. And then you bring it and put it into the big bucket, uh, or in the toilet bucket, and put the empty bucket back under the sink uh, uh, faucet, so that when whatever you wash, it go in there, and then we use it for different things, okay? The toilet or everything, yes. Um, especially summer water sometimes is more shortish than usual. And nowadays many glaciers has melted. So the water is getting more and more precious all the time because of climate change as well. Understand, yeah? Yes. yes. Okay. All right then. I wish you a good meditation night and a good rest. Yeah? Okay. I also will come in and I'll meditate with you and then I have to come out, take care of other business and take care of my dogs and my family. I, I'm responsible for them. Now they're older and, you know, not well, I have to take care also. But uh, luckily I have some people also take care of the dogs. Otherwise I have no time to sit here with you. You know, they're older, they need medicaments, they need feeding, feeding they need taking care, go in and out, and all that, you know, cleaning. And so I'm also grateful that somebody taking care. Okay? Yes. But even then, I have other work to do. Many, many work. So I come in and now I cannot sit with you all day. Okay? I come sit whenever I can. I sit all, most of the time with you, many times. Right? I come in and I sit and then after a while I had to go do something. So you enjoy, okay? I saw many of you enjoy. You know, really was in Samadhi. I was happy for you. Mm. And if somebody come around and touch your head, it could be me only. Nobody else dare do it. So, so don't try to to, to beat me or <laughs> or hit me or kick me. Okay, <laughs> I'm fragile. All right. <laughs> don't kung fu me, huh? <laughs> Otherwise, I'm so scared. I don't come touch you again. <laughs> yeah, you always want me to touch your head and your. Wisdom I then that's why I do it. So don't kick me, huh? Huh? <laughs> I always try to be gentle, but I'm very gentle already. You know, first I touch a little of the hair and then I go down to the wisdom eye, but somebody's still kung fu me. <laughs> okay, it's okay. Huh? Yeah, you're welcome. Okay, take care of each other, huh? The, the one the one the one who came um, earlier to teach the new one how to to go around okay mm, all right and don't try to stare at me whenever I go <laughs> Be natural okay I know you like to see me but I'm very uncomfortable <laughs> I will try to talk to somebody and then somebody else want to jump in because I'm talking to that guy so he she also want to talk I'm talking about work yeah and if you interrupt I might forget what I was saying okay or the, the person might might not understand what I was saying and then You'll be in trouble. Understand? Whatever I do here, I talk here. It's just for everybody, okay? Mm. Don't think I have any private conversation, nothing. Don't try to come in and have a look or stare at me. Understand? Yeah. If I'm talking to somebody, don't try to jump in so he can talk to, 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 to Master. I also can. I want to talk to Master now. <laughs> Don't be like that, okay? Yeah. You are very big already. Big, big, big. Old. Some older than me, some less older. You're not children anymore. Yeah. Don't always ask yourself, oh, give me, give me. <laughs> me. Give me blessed food. Give me this, give me that. I already, I already blessed the cake. And still want me to give one by one. My God, imagine. <laughs> I have to also take care of many things. For you here, I have to take care of more things. For you to sit here, understand? To sit here and meditate well, I have to run around doing background job. Yeah? So don't keep asking for more. Whatever I can do, I do already. Don't think I don't know what you want. I know. But many of you are so childish. You want an extra give it by the hand? Why? Huh? You don't have hand? Huh? 
<laughs> you go take it yourself, okay? This is for the people who goes home, everybody take one only, yeah? We don't have enough people to keep buying the whole supermarket, okay? Yeah, because people who keep coming, coming, and we always have to do shopping. We don't have enough time and manpower, understand this? We have people to buy, but they also have the limited time. And their physical body also need rest. They work all day already, everybody, understand? The workers, the shoppers, they have to go out every day in the, in the traffic to buy things for you. So whatever we have, be happy with it, okay? Don't ask for more, okay? They work very hard. Yeah, every day I have to go out, do shopping for you, for us. Hmm? You have to thank, be thankful for whatever we have. Okay, huh? Yeah. Uh, just remind you to be good, that's all, okay? See you soon. You meditate and I come in and I'll meditate some you, with you also sometime during the night. But of course you don't know it, you're too busy. <laughs>